Hey guys, about three months ago, give or take, I decided I needed some more garden space. And the easiest thing for me to do was just build some raised beds. So that's what I did. I've got six beds right here. Each one four by 10, nothing fancy. Being the first year uh, with the soil, naturally I've had some ups and downs. Some things haven't gone quite as well as I would have liked. Others have done just fine. Like that corn over there. That stuff is just ridiculous how tall it is. Y'all have seen that before. But there's something about this little raised bed garden that I think makes it pretty special. Everything you see growing in these six beds right here came from seed that was either given to me by YouTubers or people on the Bayou Forum. This is an Argentine tomato. Came from uh, Elisa Viola. Here's an early Anna from the Ontario Gardener. I'm trying this Jerusalem from Elk Hound again and not doing so well with it. Got some blight on it. She's struggling. Got one great big old tomato sitting right down there on the ground. This little Korean right here from uh, Pretty Roads hasn't fared much better. This is a Reason Trob right here from 03 Dexter Hauler making some real nice cherry tomatoes but with the heat and stuff that we've having uh, a lot of these blossoms are just falling off not even setting right now. Right there I got a second crop of I believe it was sunburst squash from uh, Jake the Ontario Gardener make some little uh, orange patty pan squash and over to the left of that you see them two big clubs laying there that's for bow hunter 2439 now my buddy Bo sent me some seeds that was supposed to be for a green zucchini nice straight zucchini he saved the seed from it last year and this is what I grew out of it turns out it was a Ford hook uh, hybrid from burpee and when you save the seed from a hybrid, you never know exactly what you're going to get. Plus, he said there was a yellow squash right next to it that may have uh, crossed it. So we don't know exactly what happened. The only thing I know is this is not a smooth, straight, green zucchini. Now, this is for my buddy Modoc42. I told him that a radish was about the easiest thing in the world to grow. Anybody could grow radishes. So Gardenana 3453 sent me some cherry bell radish seeds and I planted them and the first thing they did was just go straight up they bolted right from the start it was just too warm apparently there's a little bit more to radish seed than just sticking them in the ground anytime they need some cooler weather but these got the seed pods on them I'm gonna see if I can save me some radish seed from these things right here are some Beauregard sweet potatoes from I'm still working over in the eastern part of the state and let me tell you what, these are some tough sweet potatoes right here. They came out of a crop that she uh, dug up in 2010, been two years, and they were still uh, viable. So she went ahead and got the slips growing on them, packaged them up in plastic bags, put them in a box and mailed them to me. And there was a reason why they called the United States Postal Service snail mail. Uh, I figured it's about 120 miles from here to there. It took 12 days for that box with these sweet potatoes in it to get here. That's an average of 10 miles a day. I think a snail could have probably done better. So they didn't look in the best shape when I got them. Went ahead and stuck them in the ground, kept them watered, and they have jumped right back to life. Ought to do pretty good. On the edge of this bed right here, has some seeds left over from last year from a guy on the forum, a cub man. Very smart dude down in North Carolina. Uh, his family had been developing a line of cucumbers and he gave me some seed to try. I didn't do so well with them last year, so uh, I'm trying again. See if I can't get something out of them. Right here I got some cassava melons from uh, Tenant 2009. Never tried these things before. I think that one right there is getting just about ready to eat. And right beside of those is some Israeli melons from Elisa Viola. One of them tried to escape and he's hanging down here on the end of the pea trellis. Right there's a bunch more of them yard long beans from uh, Gospel Truth 37059. These are the ones I saved from seed of those plants I had in the greenhouse. This right here doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? Actually, this is what was left out of four spaghetti squash from uh, Gone to YouTube. She sent me the seed for this and the squash bugs got three of them right away. And I had one plant that actually made it, and I got two nice uh, spaghetti squash off of it. And something interesting about this one, it didn't run like the other spaghetti squash I had grown. It stayed in a compact like a bush. So if that's what it's going to be, if it'll be a bush spaghetti squash, I would really like to grow this one. So I'll be saving the seeds from this, and I'm going to try it again. 
right here I got some Charentas, which is a little French melon, almost like a personal size cantaloupe from Glow Orbit. Sent these things to me. I've been able to eat one of them so far, and I'm going to tell you what, that's a good little melon right there. The flesh is a little bit firmer on the inside than a typical cantaloupe. Very good eating. This looks kind of familiar right here. This uh, oversized corn, it's the same stuff I had growing in the greenhouse that Hastings Prolific that BB, BJB sent me. And I thought it grew tall inside the greenhouse because of low light. Uh, that's not the case. This corn just naturally grows tall. It's filling out real nice. Got some ears way on up in there. I think I had to bring my step stool over here, a step ladder, do like a TJ. My daddy's girl, 44, down in Georgia. I think when she got ready to pick her corn, she had to go out there and put a step ladder in the row to be able to reach it. I'll probably be doing the same thing. And I got a few plants growing inside the greenhouse. These are some Tsar Kolokos. It's a Russian heirloom. Makes a big pink ox heart. Good tasting tomato. I grew these uh, last year. These were sent to me by uh, Tutti Mata from the, uh, the Bayou Forum. Real nice tomatoes on here. I got a couple of Oturak. I think it's a Turkish tomato from Tenant 2009. I uh, haven't seen any fruit on there yet. I don't think they like the hot weather whatsoever. But if I can get them to hang on here for another six weeks or so, once the temperatures start to fall, I might be able to see what they make. Media Maker 2000 sent me some seed for a Sun Gold, and these are the very first ones producing right here. It's supposed to be an excellent taste in cherry tomato. Down in here, we got some Big Mama Paste tomatoes, some Bow Hunter 2439. It might have messed up the zucchini seed, but his tomatoes are right on time. All right, guys, that's going to conclude my little tour of your gardens. And I say yours because all of you guys sent me the seed to grow this stuff. As I said, not everything has worked out. I had a couple of tomatoes. I know a purple Russian from a 03 Dexter Hauler and the Myers from SM Prep and Nancy. They were looking good. As soon as I put them in the ground, I don't know what happened. They just gone. Um, that happens sometimes. I try again. I got a lot more seed to you know try later on this year and maybe some next year but I think it's cool to just be able to try uh, different plants and see how they perform. That's another thing that's really important right now while you can. Uh, if you have an interest in experimenting with seeds go ahead and find out which ones you can grow which ones will grow uh, while you're not worried about trying to put food on the table. In another year or two, however long as it takes, you're going to need to have some go-to varieties that you know when you put them in the ground, you're going to have something to eat. So I've said this before, but I'll say it again to all the people that sent me the seeds and stuff. Thank you very much. I enjoy growing this stuff and just uh, seeing how it turns out. So y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.